pair of shears should I need them for something and uh, my favorite beverage so got assortment of rakes and shovels and hose and man, I think I'm ready to get this thing going so let me take off on this tree here and see what happens with it not pretty good that's gonna sit there so now I want to make sure we still got a level we don't want this plant if anything we want this plant to be a little above the ground because it'll settle a little bit and we're going to take a look at this and it looks like it's just a little bit above ground which is just about perfect that's just how you want it so i think we're in good shape at this point i'm going to just start packing dirt in here and keep filling up with dirt and water to tamp it down and I'm not going to show you all that, so when I get it all filled up and tamped down, I'm going to take a mixture of garden soil and some natural soil and mix it all together here. And maybe about a 50-50 ratio. I might put a little more garden soil here than I normally do because it does have some nutrient value. And this tree if, is kind of dwarfed for some reason, so uh, it's going to... It's going to love being in the ground. So that's it for now. Get back to you when I'm about finished with this project. Now, if you look at the orientation of the tree, you'll see that it's leaning uh, to the left. Now, I'm doing that because I'm looking in north and behind me is south. This is east and this is west. With the house right here, I'm going to get a lot of afternoon shade. So. The plant's going to tend to grow toward the sun, which would be more over in this direction and to the east. So I'm going to plant it slightly facing west, so as it gets larger, it'll tend to balance out the tree. So all this growth on the left side will start diminishing just because of the sunlight, and it's going to be getting the sun over here first, and so that's going to tend to fill out. And I've got this in now. I'm going to start filling this in with dirt and water. You can see the patent on this. It's a golf rose plum. It's got a U.S. plant patent number. And I had to pay, when I bought the plant, I had to pay like $3 or something uh, to the guy that patented this thing. So I guess he's making out all right. University of Florida low, low chill fruit trees. This is my golf rose. I got a golf beauty to go with it. I got a couple plums too. I got me a hood, uh, hood pear rather and a uh, Florida home pear. And those are low chills. And then way over there I got me a tropic snow peach that I just planted. It's also a low chill peach variety. So I'm going to get all this low chill stuff in the ground in case we get a cold winter and all my mangoes die. Okay, so I've been getting along here on my design as you can see here it's pretty well filled in it's getting a little later in the day not too bad three o'clock and gives me an idea that in the winter about three o'clock these plants aren't going to get any more sunlight so I'll always want to make sure to do any watering in the morning so the leaves will dry off well before before evening help keep down the fungus you can still see that We've got some roots showing down here, so I got to build in a little more soil. So I'm going to get that hole a little bit bigger and get a little more of this amended soil in there with it. And I've got a good little ridge building out here. I'm going to have to make that even bigger. I may take some of this mushroom compost, this uh, spent mushroom substrate. Uh, they call it mushroom compost and uh, use some of this. I've got it mixed in with a bunch of oak leaves and I got such a drop off here I'm going to need to build this up on this back edge here. If I don't do that then I'm going to have real erosion problems and this, uh, this spent mushroom substrate might be just what I want. Uh, it's 
pretty good stuff. It's okay. That's it for now. The camera on my phone. Okay. So here we've got the plum tree and the dirt. And we've got a nice level base. You can see the roots are right at ground level, just the way we want them. Nothing buried, and I mean uh, the the trunk's not buried, so that that's looking real good. You can see I've got a good little lip here, about six inches over here, of where the where the um, berm is going to be for the plant. But you can see now we've got a pretty level bottom. So we're going to be able to retain water. It's not going to just all wash down the hill. And the reason I know it's level is because I flooded this with water. And the water seeks its own level, so it levels the dirt as you flood it. So I've got a good level substrate there for this plant. And so it's off, and hopefully this time next year it'll be looking real good. I'll keep you informed when I have to do the trimming for it, because I'm going to have to prune this way back. Uh, and see if I can get some growth out of it, establish. I'm probably going to do a, a, a modified open vase pruning to a, maybe a modified central lead or somewhere in between there. Just got to look at the tree for a while, see what the tree really wants, and it'll tell me where to prune it, and, and then I will. And, and that's it for 